Road to GH will reveal exciting details on Thursday, October 24, 2024. First, Liz couldn't hide her joy when Stephen stepped through the door, her face lighting up with a smile full of happiness. It had been too long since the two siblings last met, and this moment ignited a warm flame in both their hearts. They hugged each other as if the years of separation no longer mattered, with memories and familial love rushing back with every squeeze of their hands and every glance. Stephen felt comfort and a sense of belonging that only family can bring, while Liz couldn't stop talking about everything she had experienced during their time apart. After a deeply emotional time together, Stephen decided to visit his mother, Heather, who was still in prison. He knew this would be a difficult meeting, but also an opportunity for a fresh start. Stephen had spent a lot of time thinking and preparing for this. He didn't just want to visit his mother. He had a detailed plan to help her gain freedom soon. In his heart, he always hoped that their reunion would no longer be confined by the cold walls of a prison, but would take place in the peaceful and warm atmosphere of family. He envisioned the moment of bringing Heather out of prison as a major turning point, opening the door for them to heal and rebuild their relationship, which had been fractured by years of separation and turmoil. Second, friends and family of Sam and Lulu gathered in the hospital waiting room, with a heavy and tense atmosphere hanging over everyone. People sat in silence, occasionally exchanging anxious looks and words of encouragement. The ticking of the clock echoed clearly in the tense anticipation. It seemed as though time was slowing down, each minute stretching endlessly as no one knew what was happening in the operating room. Some people sat still, gripping their chairs tightly, silently praying for everything to go smoothly. Others kept looking toward the door, hoping a doctor would soon come out with good news. The tension grew with every passing moment. Everyone was hopeful, yet afraid of the worst. Occasional soft words of comfort broke the silence, but they couldn't chase away the worry in everyone's hearts. Sam and Lulu's friends tried to stay optimistic, but the wait made it impossible to stop thinking about the potential risks. In their minds, there was only one hope, that Sam and Lulu would be safe and make it through the surgery. Third, Mysterious traces suggest that Sidwell had silently stepped foot in Port Charles, making Brennan more restless and alert than ever. The sources Brennan received all confirmed Sidwell's presence, but no one knew his true intentions. This created a deep wave of concern within Brennan, as he knew Sidwell wasn't someone who would easily forget old debts. Sidwell had mentioned revenge many times in the past, and this sudden appearance seemed to be a sign of a larger scheme being planned. Brennan couldn't deny that this was a potential crisis, a ticking time bomb that could explode at any moment. Sidwell was not only a dangerous enemy, but also exceptionally ruthless and cunning. Brennan understood that if Sidwell was seeking revenge, it wouldn't just be an ordinary confrontation. Every move Sidwell made was meticulously calculated and catastrophic, making the situation increasingly tense. Not wanting things to spiral out of control, Brennan immediately devised a detailed plan to track Sidwell's trail. He contacted trusted individuals, gathered information from his underground connections, and mobilized all available resources. Brennan didn't just want to find Sidwell, he wanted to capture him before things became irreparable. In his mind, there was only one goal, to stop Sidwell before it's too late. Next, after Brennan informed them that Sidwell had appeared in Port Charles, both Jason and Anna couldn't hide their worry. They knew Sidwell was unpredictable and always carried hidden dangers. Not knowing exactly what Sidwell was planning only made the situation more tense. Jason, with his impulsive and quick-to-act nature, immediately wanted to rush out to hunt Sidwell down. He felt it was urgent to stop Sidwell as soon as possible to prevent any catastrophic consequences. However, Anna maintained a more cautious stance. She understood that Sidwell wasn't just an ordinary man, and any rash action could lead to serious mistakes. Anna wanted Jason to stay calm and think things through before acting. She knew Jason was skilled in hunts and decisive actions, but in this situation, she believed a strategic approach was needed to handle Sidwell safely and effectively. The conversation between Jason and Anna became increasingly tense as they held differing views. Jason felt time was running out, and sitting idly by only gave Sidwell more time to act. 
He wanted to immediately execute a plan to track him down, not giving Sidwell the chance to build his revenge plot. On the other hand, Anna stood firm in her opinion, trying to convince Jason that jumping into action without a tight plan would only make things more complicated. She emphasized that Sidwell was smart and cunning, and none of his actions should be underestimated. She wanted the two of them to work closely with Brennan, gather more information, and develop a comprehensive plan before proceeding. Despite understanding Jason's urgency, Anna believed that caution and collaboration were the keys to dealing with a dangerous enemy like Sidwell. Lastly, Curtis had begun taking the first steps in concealing the truth about the altered test results of Heather, something his wife, Portia, had secretly caused. Curtis knew that this decision would put him in a dangerous and risky situation, but out of love and a desire to protect Portia, he felt he had no other choice. Tampering with the test results wasn't just illegal, it could also unleash a host of unforeseeable consequences. Curtis was fully aware that if the truth were exposed, both he and Portia would face serious consequences, potentially ruining their lives. However, a sense of responsibility and loyalty to his wife made him determined to do whatever it took to protect her. Every move Curtis made had to be extremely cautious. He started by finding a way to interfere with the hospital's data system, erasing any evidence that could link to the altered test results. Curtis also reached out to a few old acquaintances who could help him cover this up without leaving a trace. But he knew that even the smallest mistake could bring everything crashing down.